Hey guys, it is NCSFan001 here for the road to my 701st Platinum Trophy. Today's game is Ghost Files Memories of a Crime. Is that the correct way this is spelled? Family Mysteries 2 Echoes of Tomorrow. I was completely wrong. I have no idea why I thought of that other name. Anyway, uh, this game is another Artifacts Monday game. Just like most of them, it's pretty easy. Though this one, I will admit, had a few, like, slightly trickier parts to it than some of the other ones did. Uh, some of the hidden object puzzles and even some of the normal puzzles definitely gave me a few more problems than I thought they would. I mean, as usual, the Platinum Trophy is pretty easy. It's still an Artifacts Monday game. They're rarely difficult. There's only a handful of them that are. But this one, I felt like I struggled with just a little bit more at certain times. But I mean, it's still a pretty easy Platinum Trophy. And three hours to Platinum, that's about right. You could probably do it even a little bit faster if you were a little bit better at the game than I was at certain puzzles. So for the Platinum Trophy, you have to finish a hidden object puzzle without a hint. Uh, you have to complete a hidden object puzzle without a mistake. Which is, I felt like this one was actually a little bit tougher in this game. Like... I felt like whenever I was going for this one, I would click on something and it should have been the correct object to click on, but like the game wouldn't register it as correct and it would still count it as a miss. Maybe it's because I clicked on certain things too quickly after maybe revealing them because there's a lot of puzzles where you have to pick up one object and move it to another place to make it work. So maybe that was the problem. I'm not sure. For the hidden object puzzle in less than a minute, you can just click like crazy around any of the hidden object puzzles and get this one. Uh, in this particular game, you can play it on casual difficulty. You don't have to play it on expert, so there's no penalty for just clicking around like crazy, so that's pretty nice. Uh, complete a mini game in less than a minute. That's probably going to come naturally. You're probably going to get that like pretty early on in the game, actually. Three hidden object puzzles without a hint is, well, pretty self-explanatory. You should get that no problem. Three hidden objects within three seconds you should get no problem when you're doing that fast clicking method. Now this one, this is a trophy that's been in several of these games. And I'm still not 100% sure if it means three hidden object puzzles in 10 minutes of like game time versus 10 minutes of real time. So like 10 minutes of actually playing the game versus 10 minutes of real world time now there's apparently a good place to get it i got it pretty much naturally while following the guide on playstation trophies but just do be wary that a lot of games nowadays have that particular trophy you have to finish all the mini games without skipping you can i don't know if there's any hint option in the mini games but you cannot skip them so that's probably one of the hardest trophies in the game in fact look at that this platinum trophy is only at 25 percent I feel like Artifacts Money games are usually a little bit higher than that, even on PlayStation Network here. Uh, you have to find all the digital articles. There are 28 of them. So that is one of your two types of collectibles in this game. As long as you're following a guide, you shouldn't have a problem with that. Finish five mini games without skipping. We'll get along the way to this trophy. Then you have to find all of the morphing items. There are 14 of those. I, I want to say it's... 14 of the morphing items and 28 of the digital articles, but I it could be backwards. It could be 14 of the digital articles and 28 of the morphing items. But either way, there's 42 total collectibles in this game that you're going to have to find. And if you're following a collectible guide, it shouldn't be much of a problem at all. You have to, this is a story-related trophy. I believe this is a story-related trophy. This should be a story-related trophy. I believe this is story-related. So I believe that all of these are story-related trophies. So... A lot of story-related trophies in this game, and then just a lot of simple, typical, hidden object puzzle type trophies that we're used to from Artifacts Monday. I mean, I like Artifacts Monday. I like their games. They're usually pretty decent quality titles. They're not, you know, straight up shovelware like a lot of the stuff out there these days. A lot of these games are at least decent. They are a little bit copy and pasted with some of their content, but they're pretty decent overall. So I would say they're worth playing as long as you can get them on sale. So level 820, 71%, 25,492 total trophies, 701 platinums, 4,565 golds, 6,711 silvers, 13,515 bronzes. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, favorite, share, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys back here for the next one.